Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how we can uh, create a beautiful uh, chain around the petals for our dancing flora shawl. Um, I don't have the shawl here to sew directly to the shawl because I finished it and I have to send it to my yak. They need it for the, for the Vogue Knitting Festival in New York, so it's there. But I'm going to, uh, to work on my mother's love sweater. Uh, that I created some some years ago and we're going to work around uh, let's say that this is a flower and this is the middle of the flower so we're going to work here so I'm taking uh, some uh, scrap yarn um, so let's say that this is all blue and you are taking um, some yarn and you work around around the blue um, circle and you insert the, the crochet hook exactly where the last uh, blue stitch was not uh, above not below just where the blue stitches are um, I'm going to show it to you in another color so you see it uh, you can see it better um, so I put it I put it inside my pattern and I'm taking a small loop you make sure that you secure uh, this ed end at the when you're done and what I do now is to I am creating with some loops. So I put my crochet hook at the end, I take some yarn and I create a chain. And I continue like this. Around the circle of the middle of the flower. Okay, and you continue like this. You can do this for the whole um, for the whole middle, for the whole circle. And at the end, what I did is to let's I, I, I create some petals, some four um, petals. So I will do it now like this to secure the end. And I will show you how I did the, the petals. I'm going to take my tapestry needle and insert the yarn and what I did is I inserted um, like let's say three or three or four uh, stitches below from the chain one two three four four or five wherever you want you can make it as big and as small as you want and then I insert it in the previous one below underneath the previous V and I take it out. I take it out and I repeat. I put it in the next one. You see? You can put your finger and give it the size, the same size to all of them. Like this and and you put it in the previous one underneath the previous stitch from the chain that we created with the crochet hook and you continue like this for the whole circle when you uh, block it make sure you open it and it stays like this or you can steam block depending if, the, if your yarn allows it and now i'm going to show you how i'm making i'm making the bubbles i will use my crochet hook I will um, take my yarn and in the wrong side of the of the pattern. Okay, so you have it in the wrong side of the pattern. It does not matter if you have used the same yarn to make this chain and these petals. You can use whatever yarn you want as long as you secure the ends from the wrong side. So I insert my crochet hook at the point where I want to make the bubbles. I take some yarn up and I do. Let's take I have one loop. One, two, three, four five and I will take a last one six you can either insert the crochet hook in two holes the same two holes or anywhere you want it's no problem you just play around and you create something it's creativity 
So in the last one, and you make it as small or as big as you want, the last loop, I put it through. And then I will take this end and I will, I will put it again closer to and I will take it down. One moment. Is it? Yes. It's done. So that's it. It's a smooth, beautiful, small bubble. And you can continue anywhere you want inside, inside the circle. Just insert your crochet, crochet hook and you take the yarn and you do the same. One, two, three, whoop, gone, three, four, five, and through and down. Make sure to secure all ends at the end. That's it. Once you block it, you will see that it's very, very beautiful. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your dancing floral.